I'm confident that with our collaboration, China-Greece relations will produce more and more bountiful results. Chinese President Xi Jinping hails a new era in bilateral ties between two of the world's oldest civilizations. Hello, I'm Mike Walter sitting in for Anna Naidu, and this is The Heat. Greece's economic struggles are well documented. The country has been mired in a decade-long debt crisis. Its national debt and jobless rate, the highest in the Eurozone. Last year, the country emerged from its third international bailout. The government hopes that higher investment will help propel economic growth and greater fiscal stability. Enter China. Athens is eager to tap China's massive market. That's apparent in many of the 16 deals signed during President Xi Jinping's three-day visit. For more on all of this, we turn to CGTN's Guy Henderson. He's in Athens. So, Guy, uh, this was President Xi's first trip to Greece. Lots of deals signed. What can you tell us about them? Just briefly before we get to the deals, Mike, let me talk to you briefly about the pageantry involved in this whole occasion. Xi Jinping gets off the plane on Sunday night. It's just the unofficial uh, welcoming ceremony. The Greek government has rolled out the red carpet, and frankly, you barely saw Xi Jinping off that red carpet during the duration of his stay here. So the Greek government really were putting on a show. For them, this was a pretty big deal. Uh, let's talk about those deals, though, just briefly. It was just about enough time in between the ceremonies to sign off on 16 of them, as you say, in total. They included things like agriculture export agreements uh, and a, a, a deal to uh, set up two new Chinese banks in Greece, uh, another one on extradition treaty between Greece and China of some sort. I think a lot of Greeks are still trying to digest exactly uh, what the implications of that might be. But look, broadly, at least according to one opinion poll conducted before the Chinese president's visit, 51% of Greeks actually hold a favorable view of China, and so the suggestion, of course, is that they are actually quite supportive of these kind of uh, deals. As you say, it's been a turbulent decade for the Greek economy, and the Greek government's hope is that these are the kind of deals that can give a bit of juice back to the Greek economy, if you like. Uh, and, Guy, given uh, Greece's economic problems, it's understandable why they roll out the red carpet for Chinese investment to come in. It's important to them. But what does China hope to gain? I think the main thing that Xi Jinping made clear during his visit in a newspaper article before he arrived in a Greek newspaper as well, Piraeus Port. That's a deep water port uh, outside Athens, and it is what he described as the head of the dragon for Chinese investment uh, in Greece. He and the Greek government want to see this port become a hub, a trade hub, a major trade hub between Asia and particularly southern and eastern Europe. Uh, so that, I think, is the sort of main uh, benefit for China. Uh, Greece has signed on to the, the Belt and Road uh, Trade Corridor, China's well, Belt and Road Trade Corridor. It has recently signed on to this thing called 16 plus 1, 17 plus 1, now that Greece is a member. That is a grouping of Eastern European countries that are sort of stepping up their ties uh, with China. But I have to say there are concerns and a big discussion here too, uh, because the rest of the European Union, particularly further north, uh, France, Germany, are trying to persuade other EU members at the moment to take a tougher stance on Chinese investment in Europe. And their worry is, will these kind of investments make it harder for a country like Greece uh, to join them in, in forming a sort of common front, if you like? Thanks, Guy. That's CGTN's Guy Henderson reporting from Athens.